attention. You know. And it's okay, you can have as much of that as you want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like you, he, he, he's he been trained to believe what you, seen him say in, the, in that interview, that what he was saying, he's been trained to believe that for a long time, bro. Like, you, you don't just wake up and say, oh, well, I don't believe what I've been believing forever. You know what I mean? Like when I said that, uh, that he's entitled, really it's his mom's entitlement, it's been filtered. See, when I told you I was given a half million dollars a year, they go through the paperwork, they say half a million dollars a year. Well, at that point, she still was expecting more. This is why I took her to child support. You don't usually sign up for child support. Like mm -hmm. I took myself to child support because she wasn't understanding that they were, oh, I'm already giving you more than you're supposed to get. Then when it turns into the 6,700, that's not enough and it's never going to be enough. Mm -hmm. But remember me constantly coming to you and talking to you about she don't want to wish she need to get a job. She didn't hear me. Yeah, you, you used to always say uh, it's, it's, he's almost 18. The child support's going to be up. It's going to be up soon. And you, you don't see it because that's not real to them. They just live in the moment. And like, and it's, it's fine. I'll take care of it on the next thing when it comes. The next, the next check coming in every month. Like, I, I don't feel the pressure that or resentment that men feel with, with child support because I take care of it when the problems happen. Mm -hmm. Meaning I, I took the money and moved it to a, a account that year. So on the books, that was an expense for that year. And then the next year, I didn't feel that financially anymore. And it was like they was receiving it every month, but I had already put that money to so I already took the loss on that year. So later, if you're not if you're not having years that bring in the same kind of money, it may affect you more later. I mean, if your career slows down, if you're not, you know, like I just didn't want that to be an issue at any point, so I just took care of it. Like that. So I is the situation when I have uh, good communications with like, and for him, it's his aunt really, his aunts, and make it easier for me because I don't mm -hmm. really lot with moms like that. So but we have been able to share and, and raise it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no real fighting that and stuff like that. And we go outside of you uh you would think puff that puppy situation, you would there's nothing else there. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. You know, most young, most young men grow up and they realize that, you know, they, they was only getting one side of the story, usually from the mother. So then yeah. that's that's when they want to you know go go talk to the pops and they, like damn have that relationship. Kind of it kind of happened in in um, raising Canaan. Yeah, you know raising Canaan was was like was re really like him. It's the kid has been sheltered and he looks and he's excited by ghosts. He's wearing the suit stuff and and you don't really understand who ghosts is. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they didn't came in the jail to to make that and he went get his business back. It was just allowing him the opportunity to do deal with that so he would deserve everything that he did for him. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a, in that character. But when you look at, to this point, when you've, if you've mailed someone a million dollars, right, and have zero respect for you, how much you think you got to give them before they have a little bit? Damn. Mm -hmm. See what I'm it's, it's not gonna that the relationship. I don't think that works. Yeah. So you, you, you so you, you would never be open to it. No, I don't think the relationship works. I'm not look for a long time, Charlie. Man, I went, I went running behind him. I went places that he went, and he left the place. You see what I'm saying? And then there's a. a I went to a, even the text messages that was out. If, if y'all get a chance to look at him, that's me talking to his mother. Because his mother's texting me through his phone. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I said the thing that I said, knowing that this is her responding to me. And it, it, it looks a little rough for him for what I'm saying to him, but it's the circumstances of look, what's the penalty of you not following the order? All you do is go back to court. You know? Yeah, yeah. She never got a job. What is the penalty? There's no penalty for her. They're gonna tell me to pay my lawyer, to pay her lawyer. That's real. To pay for everything every time you go do it. And there's no penalty for her because she doesn't have anything outside of what they're saying is support for the child. 
So what what do they do? They they're not gonna tell her to pay for anything. She just the the same energy you see there has been there the whole time. Look, the, you talking about a kid that's not even a kid. He's twenty five years old. Mm -hmm. You know what my issue was at sixteen? Angela, they wanted to charge me as an adult then. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you you look and you go, when you gonna figure it out? Right. You're fronting like they act like they got money. You ain't got no money. There ain't no money there. The house that they stayed in in Atlanta while they was out there foreclosed on them before they left as the child support was in. Complete mismanage of the money that you was being sent. You see what I'm saying? And they'll look and keep making reference to that point that they have money. That was the point that you was around me. But they don't, they don't have nothing now. He was in Queens working in vanity. He's the hookah boy. You see what I'm saying? So while he's there, 